Yes, uh, uh, thank you very much. Um, when it comes to the railway systems, mm -hmm. uh, we've been talking about the Northern Corridor, which is from Mombasa through Nairobi, uh, Dorit, Tororo, with a branch going to the north, and then the other one continuing to Kasese, and hopefully we we'll get this through to Kigali and Arithmetri, Burundi. This is already being looked at, and as you probably may know, we are now moving away from the narrow gauge mm -hmm. uh, to the standard gauge that is applicable universally. Now, this has already been uh, uh, looked at, studies are advanced, and in fact in Kenya they will have some resources and will start the construction very soon. And we in Uganda are now currently studying uh, the, the, the route and feasibility studies are underway and hopefully before long we will start also the construction. Now, the southern route from Tanga, uh, which will pass through uh, Arusha uh, to Musoma and, and across to uh, our port, Lake Victoria, is also being discussed. And uh, I know that uh, heads of state have met over this one uh, because uh, we want to have alternative routes uh, to get to the, to the sea. Yes, the, lake, uh, the, 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 the port at, uh, at uh, Lake Victoria in Uganda, Port Bell, uh, is an old little thing, but we are designing a new port at Pocasa that will serve the purpose for which we are trying to build these railway lines. So we are moving on, and uh, soon the infrastructure will be completed so that movement of goods and persons becomes much easier. Let's ask Honorable Mulengani, movement of persons. You're supposed to make laws that, that, that work well for the members, for the partner states. One of the people asked the question, Shifa, saying, in Uganda we can travel at night. The Kenyans can travel at night when in Uganda. But Ugandan traders cannot travel at night while in Kenya to bring the merchandise back and they're losing money. Shouldn't you be making laws that should be helping the Ugandan people that sent you to the East African Legislative Assembly? Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think this is a temporal thing. We want to, I want to uh, have your feelings in terms of time wasted while waiting for the day, for another day. Uh, to us as legislators, the common market protocol is in place. It is very clear on how people move. And uh, much as people in the common market, some people are restricted in movement, they keep on moving. Yes, in fact, uh, uh, let's go over to uh, the gentleman from Casita. Well, these solutions, what, these solutions that are being given by the minister and uh, the representative from the East African Legislative Assembly, will they work for you as traders? Our challenge, we have for a lot of issues with the legislators and also the government technocrats. Much as we appreciate their role, Miyaka has tried to sensitize us, Mr. Commissioner is here. They gave us some materials two years ago. Some in English, some in Uganda, some in Swahili. But we need more. We need an update. But the issue, one issue which is critical, as the minister hinted, the resource base is narrow. Whenever you talk to them, come on to sensitize our people, they say, we don't have resources at the moment. Secondly, they have not involved us enough in the consultations. In fact, let's go straight to somebody from the Ministry of East African Community Affairs. We have Mr. Mujuni Lawrence, he's a director in that ministry. Now, even the people of Casita say you consulted them two years ago. So who are you making these, these laws for, these activities? Who are they for if even Casita doesn't, doesn't know what's going on? Just hold on, we're going to come back to you. Let's hear, let's hear from Mr. Mujuni. This matter of sensitization requires all of us 
the media, YALA members, our national parliament, local governments, traders, students, to sensitize our own people. Two, our ministry actually does not implement. We, we, I can call ourselves the chief whip in the context of EAS integration. So implementation is done in other ministries, government departments, and agencies. Nevertheless, as I indicated, we provide strategic guidance and leadership on the EAC integration process. Every time we have meetings, we invite CASITA to participate in our discussions.